Hi, welcome to MonumentalMath.com. We'll be doing converting mixed numbers into improper fractions, and this is set one. A mixed number is a whole number and a fraction. This is a whole number and a fraction, whole number and a fraction. So if we have three and three-fourths, if you're like me, visual is a nice thing. If you have three pizzas and you cut them into fours, then you have an extra three-fourths You have <laughs> no laughing out loud at my artwork. Okay, you have three and three fourths. So how many total fourths is that? Well, it's four plus four is eight plus four is 12, 13, 14, 15. It becomes 15 fourths. Mathematically, how could we find that? We cut three pizzas into four parts. That gave us 12. And then we added on the extra three. We got 15. This one, one and five eighths. So we have one pizza, and then we have five eighths. One, two, three, four, five. This is going to have eight eighths. So how many total eighths are there? There's eight eighths plus five more. That means we have 13 Ace. So we just divide it into that many parts and add the numerator. This one, four and one sixth. Now let's not draw this one. Let's do the method. Four pizzas cut into six parts each. That'd be 24 pieces. They're all six plus that one. So you get 25, six. Improper fractions means the numerator is bigger than the denominator. Why would we learn this? Because when you multiply with fractions or with mixed numbers, you need to convert them into improper fractions. And then you can go ahead and multiply or divide. Now you go ahead, give it a try on converting mixed numbers into improper fractions. Good luck, hope you enjoy the challenge. 